So, after years of being somewhat neglected, Halloween has finally come to Disney California Adventure in a big way. But we'll dive into all of the details up next. Hi there, Waltoneers. I'm Jack. This is DSMI Newscast. Go ahead and subscribe down. You're gonna say it, aren't you? You're gonna say, go ahead and subscribe down below. Yes. Yeah, so what if I am? Okay, then. then. Say it. Fine. Let's get on with it. Go ahead, and subs go, go ahead and subscribe, and subscribe down. down. Real mature. Okay, fine. I get your point. Okay. I won't do it. Fine. I'll leave. Now let's get right on with the news. So ever since D23 Expo, when it was announced that Cars Land was going to get a major Halloween overlay later this year, but now we can finally see just how much of a transformation for Halloween this overlay is. As pretty much the whole entire land has been decorated from top to bottom with Halloween puns no matter how bad they may be. I mean, come on, seriously. Hall Halloween? And not just that, all three rides within the land have received significant overlays as well. And the all new lighting effects on the mountainous landscape of Radiator Springs Racers looks amazing. But clearly, this won't be just a one time thing. As not only will this overlay return next year as well, but the Halloween makeover is set to expand. With all new Halloween experiences expected to be brought to that park next year, as you see the shift from Disneyland to DCA for Halloween continues. As we can see with this incredible Headless Horseman statue that is placed right outside the Carthay Circle restaurant. And also Buena Vista Street has also got some purple and black Halloween decorations. But you see, this Halloween takeover at DCA tells us an awful lot about Disney's future plans. As despite them not announcing anything new for the upcoming Marvel Land expected to be coming to DCA, it does tell us that it's still on the cards, as Disney have not invested in fully themed decorations for Hollywood Land, because this section of the park will be completely revamped in the next few years to become the Marvel section of DCA. But the big thing here is that the Halloween overlay called Monsters After Dark has now officially opened at Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, and the first thing to note here is just how amazing the lighting effects look on the exterior of the building, which looks much more in keeping with the ominous tone of the ride even when it's Mission Breakout. And it will more than likely have many guests wishing that these new lighting effects would stay permanently, compared to how it usually looks with the extremely well-lit, bright exterior of Mission Breakout. But that's not the only thing that's changed here, as the ride narrative has changed as well. As now, instead of walking into an organised tour group type of environment, you are now fully immersed in the chaos of a security breach within the Collector's Fortress, which in my opinion is what the feel of this attraction should have been from the very beginning, as the pandemonium of a supposed free-falling out-of-control gantry lift works a lot better with the mayhem of a security breach instead of a traditional breakout scenario as it normally is. So personally, I think that Walt Disney Imagineering have done such an amazing job with this Halloween overlay, it's going to have guests wanting this to be the standard version of the attraction. But what's really interesting here is that Disney have decided to bring a complete overlay to this level to a very popular attraction only four months after it's opened. Maybe meaning that when Pixar Pier opens in summer of 2018, we might see a Halloween overlay come to Toy Story Midway Mania. But this is only phase one of the Halloween activities. As with Disney California Venture receiving the Paint the Night Parade next year, maybe we'll see a Halloween parade come to that park as well, or even a Halloween version of World of colour. But over in Disneyland, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is really moving along, as we can now see the highest most point of the mountainous landscape of Galaxy's Edge beginning to appear from other parts of the park, with Imagineering working hard to complete the rock work. As is most common with massive projects like this, Disney like to have completed elements of this kind of project visible as sort of a visual teaser for other guests within the Disney park, like we saw with Pandora, the world of Avatar and the floating mountains. Now let's move on over to Walt Disney World. As with Grand Avenue opening very soon at Disney's Hollywood Studios, we can now see the completed signage for the Californian-inspired baseline tap house that will serve Californian beers and wine to guests. However, no date has yet been given for when Grand Avenue will officially open, but it will most likely be in the November timeframe. But now, it's over to you, Waltoneers. I would love to hear your opinion 
on this new Halloween overlay of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, and also considering how easy it was to do this kind of overlay, whether you could see any other kinds of overlays coming to the Mission Breakout attraction. And don't forget to leave the Hidden Mickey timestamp along with your suggestion to be in with a chance to win a DSNY newscast pin. Congratulations to Eric and Starla for winning with these suggestions from the previous two videos, discussing all of the director's changes within Star Wars, and also the Toy Story Land model at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel, and also if you give this video a massive thumbs up, as most of you do, and it really does help us out, so I greatly appreciate that. But I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon. Thank <laughs> you.